12 string and um, I've been just been playing six string guitar and just sort of teaching my myself some finger picking at that point and uh, and uh, I, I sort of picked up a 12 string guitar in a shop and it seemed to kind of suit my the, the kind of ideas I've been having for composing and, and writing and I really love the, the sound of the instrument itself and I just became kind of uh, obsessed with it. I think in total over the, the course of the last seven albums and some compilation tracks I've used about 20 different tunings. How do you deal with that live? Uh, with difficulty. <laughs> um, I only carry one, around one guitar simply because I don't, um, I don't travel by car. Uh, I can't actually, I never uh, got a driver's license. So. Um, so I take around one guitar, I mean, but it, it has like, uh, each song is in a different tuning and I usually play sort of five or six long pieces within a set, but uh, they kind of, I'm never completely retuning the whole guitar and it sort of has like a natural kind of flow to way that, the way that the tunings are. So I'm never retuning two or three strings, kind of, or pairs of strings at a time, really. In between in sets, I will uh, I'll retune the guitar. This is the uh, the second 12 string I bought. Uh, the, uh, the the first 12 string I bought um, I used for actually about the first uh, four or five albums I made, and it was a, a pretty a pretty cheap uh, guitar, Canadian-made guitar. It was uh, an Arts and Luthery guitar, um, and then you know like sort of 200, 300 dollars, and uh, I mean, I think they're really, really kind of good guitars for the I money. Bought, I know. bought them myself. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, for the, I think for the money they're really great, and I really didn't feel like changing it for a while. This is a new guild. I bought this uh, two, I think, two years ago, and it was new at the time. It's a um, guild GAD G two twelve. Um, it's uh, made in China. Um, and it's basically Guild make a, a kind of a slightly cheaper version of their American made guitars. The GADs, they have the GAD50, it's the, the, the dreadnought, and then they have the OM model, and well, it's like a G30 or something. That's right, yeah, it's a grand acoustic design, and they do like a whole range of these, but this is like the, the 12 string that they do in that kind of, in that series. Uh, it's, it's really lovely to play, the actions, you know, is really quite nice and light, and uh, it's. Um, I think it's. It's a lot louder, for example, than the um, than the uh, Art and Luthery, and you really notice the uh, that projection live. I think that was actually one of the biggest reasons I decided to get this guitar um, uh, from switching from the Art and Luthery, just because of the uh, I was struggling more live in the studio. It wasn't so much of a problem, but um, but this guitar, I mean, it does sort of feel. You know, it's sort of, it, it's got a, a kind of lighter touch to it, and it kind of feels, I guess it feels slightly sort of better made, you know, and so it's got a really lovely kind of, you know, the lows on it are really quite warm, and it's got kind of a, a, a nice sort of kind of bright high end to it.